Hey everybody, welcome back to the 80 Slashers YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to uh, talk about and I guess review or give my thoughts on the uh, the latest film in the Halloween uh, franchise, uh, Halloween Ends, that was released just this year, 2022. Now, um... Yeah, you know, if if you've been following the channel, I've been I've been all through October here. I've been counting down my um, you know, my ranking all the Halloween films. So, I thought I would, you know, since this one just came out, I would give my thoughts on this and I'll, you know, at the end of this I'll tell you where I rank it within the the rest of the the franchise. So, yeah, Halloween ends. Um, now if if You've been following this film and watching and listening to reviews on the internet and YouTube, all that stuff. This is a highly, highly divisive film. Um, I've seen people, you know, praise this film. They absolutely love it. And then some people say it's the worst thing that's ever been made. Uh, you know, that's that's where we are today, you know. it's It seems everything is just... There's... there's it's all black and white to people. It's either it's terrible or it's awesome. There's no gray area, it seems, anymore. But whatever. That's that's what film criticism is like these days, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. And I, obviously, I have my own. So I'll, I'll put it out there just for, just for fun, I guess. Um... So, yeah, so before I get in, I, I guess I'll say there, there's going to be some mild spoilers. I, I'm not going to get into many plot points. I, I don't like to do spoilers, but, you know, to, to do this particular film justice and talk about it, um, yeah, I'll have to talk about some of the plot points, unfortunately. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want to get mildly spoiled, um, you may want to go watch the film first. But, um, yeah, all right, so here we go. So Halloween ends. Um... Before I get into all the details, I'll just sum it up for you, very quick. This is my thoughts. As a um, as a horror film, and as a slasher film in general, um, I, I thought it was fine. You know, this was a um, a film that was you know it was fairly well made. the The plot, the pacing, all that stuff, it, it was okay. Um, there was obviously some issues with it. But, um, yeah, like I said, if I was to watch this just as a standalone horror film or as a standalone slasher, if it went by a different name, um, if it wasn't attached to the Halloween franchise, this it's a fine horror film, you know? There were some good, um, cool set pieces. Some of the characters were all right. Some of the characters, not so much. Um, some really fun kills, some good violence, some good blood and gore. Uh, you know, the conclusion was fun. Um, yeah, like I said, as, as a standalone horror film, um, it was fine. I kind of liked it. However, as a Halloween film, as a Michael Myers film, and in particular, as the concluding chapter in this, uh, new Halloween trilogy, it didn't work at all for me. Um, you know, so I... I'm trying to separate the two because, like I said, I, I think there's a lot of good things within this film if you just take it as a regular horror film. But unfortunately, we, we can't do that, and not a lot of people are doing that. They're, they're taking it solely as a Michael Myers Halloween film, which which is fine, you know? I, I'm trying to view it from a different angle. But, um, yeah, it, it, <laughs> the, the biggest problem I had was that... Um, it just it 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 does it doesn't work as part of this trilogy this this new trilogy starting with you know 2018's Halloween it's it's all over the place it's like plot wise it's um it, it, all three films are so different there's no cohesion between the plot um it, it's really too bad because I really enjoyed the first film the 2018 film I really liked it there were some issues with it again some of the writing some of the character motivations was kind of stupid but whatever I really liked the Michael Myers I liked the violence I liked how it kind of reset everything it, it 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 took away all the the crap from the 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 thorn trilogy you know the Halloween four five and six um all the the, the stupid stuff that they put into the story just to make it interesting or whatever they did they that that's all gone and they started it right up from from the original 78 um 
John Carpenter film. And, and it was like a sequel follow-up. I love that about this. And then Halloween Kills comes out. And yeah, the some of the plot decisions were really dumb. Um, you know, there was no Laurie barely. It was just a showcase for Michael killing, which was great. Like It was super violent, super great kills, which I really liked about that. And again, I love the Michael. Um, but it was kind of that Halloween Kills was kind of bogged down by like these just stupid characters doing stupid things, um, you know, like the Tommy Doyle character, like, r riling up a mob to chase some, it was just, there was a whole bunch of stupid stuff going on in that film, that it just didn't, it didn't lend anything towards the whole Laurie versus Michael storyline that was set up in the first film, they just kind of strayed away from it. Now we get to Halloween Ends, and oh boy, do they, they take another left turn in this film. Um, it, it just didn't make any sense to me why, like, the direction that they went in with this film. Um, it's just, it was so unnecessary. Like, they, they it, it takes place four years after um, Halloween Kills ends, and we just, we're introduced, like, to this new character, like, you know, the third part in a trilogy, and the main character, the main star of the film, the person with the most screen time, is someone new we've never heard of. And, and uh, just why? Like, we have Lori, we have Michael, uh, we have Lori's granddaughter. Um, so we have some returning characters, the sheriff. Um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of returning characters that we have. Why not focus on them? But instead, they, they brought in this new guy, Corey. His character's name was Corey. And we see his whole backstory and the trauma that he's facing. And then we they throw in this weird love story between him and um, Laurie's, Laurie Strode's granddaughter, which is really cringy at times and weird. And it, it, does, it didn't work for me at all. It was like, it just, it felt really unnatural. Uh, and then, you know, the, the, the twist, the plot reveal, and the, the, the direction they went with it was just, it was so unnecessary. What they did, they, if you're familiar with, you know, Halloween 4 and 5, like the Jamie Lloyd character, or her connection with Michael, where they have that psychic connection, there's some kind of supernatural thing, like they can, um, they're, they're playing in that neighborhood in this film for some reason. And people don't like that. A lot of people don't like that. And also, like, it, it reminded me of, like, the um, Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, with the Jason and the Roy connection. Um, there's elements of that in here. So, like, that's those are films that, are, that people don't like as much because of those plot points. And that's what they went for in this film in the third part of a like, concluding chapter in a trilogy, they they went in that direction, which made no sense. Uh, you know, this should have been a build-up between Laurie and Michael. You know, the second film, um, yeah, they, 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 they got off course, they did the whole thing, but fine, it, it still kind of technically worked in the storyline. You know, Laurie was recovering in the hospital from the, her fight in the first film, and yeah, it picked up like right, right after, which is fine. Um, but they, they, they could have just like, they, they could have taken like a couple months off or maybe a year later instead of four years and picked up the fight again. Michael recovers, he comes back, um, and they have an epic battle showdown. And that's not really what we got. Um, the ending we got a little bit. We'll talk about that when we get to it. But um, yeah, instead we got this Corey character who... You know, again, like, his his whole character arc was just brand new and introduced, like, introduced to this trilogy, and it wasn't needed, it wasn't required, and it was not great, to be honest. He wasn't, there was, this kid, this actor, was he's, he's not super charismatic, he, I don't know, it just, it was so, it's not what the film needed, so I, I don't know what the writers are thinking with these three films, they're, they're so piece together it really reminds me of the new star wars trilogy like the like with um force awakens last jedi um th this film is kind of like that it's just all these or this trilogy is like that trilogy like the three films are just 
they don't run together really well. There's no, it's it's almost like they write one at a time, and then they write a new plot, and then they write a new plot, and just like oh, they don't really need to match up. Um, it, it's it's messy as a Halloween trilogy, which is too bad. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So the the things I liked, um, because there is some things I liked about this film. Again, I liked the Michael, um when we got him, which we didn't get a lot of Michael in this film, unfortunately. But I do like the Michael. I like the violence. I like the kills in this are really good. There's a really fun one with them, um, like a DJ. <laughs> and he, um, yeah, he gets like his tongue cut off and it's, it's, it's clever. It's unique. It's, it's mean spirited. Um, it, it's good. The, the, the kills are really fun and violent in this. And that's what I like. So I, I really like this new era of Halloween, so they don't water it down. It, it's very graphic and brutal. So I, I do like that. Um, and the ending of the film, like, so once all, like, the Corey stuff and all that stuff, it, eventually it plays itself out. And we do get a uh, Lori versus Michael showdown at the end. You know, the film is called Halloween Ends. And from my perspective, uh, I, I got some closure. I, I I felt like this this film ended the story, the saga between them. Um, you know, I know some people may not may not agree with me on that, but I, I for me it worked. I, I was like, okay, it's over. This is the end of it. Whether you like it or not, that it feel I felt like it was the ending of the story. Um, you know, the first hour and a half of the film. Uh, didn't really play into this. It, it was a whole, like I said, other story with this Corey kid going on, which we didn't need. But we got the the payoff at the end, and it was good. It was good. It was bloody. It was gory. Um, because I'm not gonna get into the details of of exactly what happened. But if you've seen it, uh, it's pretty brutal and it's pretty final. You know, I don't know how it could not be final the way it plays out, and I like that. It was cool. It was good. Uh, so. Yeah, um, I don't know, that, that, I guess that's my thoughts, like, I, uh, I, 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 like I said, I liked the film as a horror film, as a slasher, just not as a Halloween film, not as a part of this trilogy, the whole Corey character was just overused, and it, like, just that plot device, like I said, it, like the, like the, the Halloween 4 and 5 and Friday 13th part 5, um, it just it wasn't needed. It, it just it's kind of stupid. Like they inserted this story in in the concluding chapter. It's just um, I don't know what they were thinking. So in terms of a Halloween film, it didn't work too well for me. Um, despite some some fun moments, I thought in it. So uh, in terms of where I rank it, uh, if you've been following this this little ranking series right now, as this video comes out, we've I've gone through number twelve up to number three. Uh, we we've seen so we still have numbers two and number one to go. Uh, I'm gonna rank this film um, at well at number seven. I had Halloween Kills, and at number eight. I had Rob Zombie's Halloween, his first film. I'm going to put it between those two. I'm going to put Halloween Kills just above this. Um, that film had a lot of problems for me. I didn't really like it so much, again, because of the plot and the characters. But it wasn't as offensive. The plot wasn't as offensive as this was because this whole little sidestep with the, the Corey character really didn't work for me. Um... I liked parts of this better than Halloween Kills because I liked I liked the the conc I liked the conclusion I liked how it ra I feel like it wrapped it up in a nice little bow but I'm gonna put Halloween Kills ahead of this because it had it had more Michael it had less Laurie but it had more Michael it had more kills more gore and the plot was stupid but it wasn't as it still kind of fit in the trilogy, kind of, at that point, you know, like, it was an unnecessary plot point with the whole, you know, local mob rising up to, you know, evil, what was the chant, there was something like, evil dies tonight, or something like that, that was stupid, too, but it, it, it still, it fit within the, um, the trilogy, up to that point, you know, it was continuing the next day, Lori's recovering in the hospital, it, it still kind of worked, even though it was stupid, 
the plot in this one just it just it's off the rails and it's just all over the place. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit into the trilogy. It doesn't pick up where parts one and part two led it, you know? Um so because of that I'm gonna put it behind Halloween Kill. So I guess um this was like seven A, seven B, um in in my ranking. So yeah, number eight would be or I guess it would, I guess now it would be number I don't even know how it'd be <laughs> number nine would be Rob Zombie's Halloween. Uh, Halloween ends is number seven. I'm getting my numbers messed up. And then Halloween else. Yeah, Rob Zombie's Halloween, then Halloween ends, and then Halloween kills in that order. So that's where I'm putting it. Um, yeah, it, it it it's too bad because I um I don't know. I I feel like there's there's some good stuff in this in this film. Fun, like, just fun eye candy. Like, just the kills and the, the, the version of Michael we get. Um, one thing that really... I, I didn't mention it, but one thing that really pissed me off... Again, similar to the, the Last Jedi, they messed with, like, the character of Michael Myers in this film. There, there's scenes with this Corey kid. He's, like, what, is he 18, 19, 20? He's a young, goofy-looking kid with glasses. And he basically beats up Michael. He There's a scene where he goes to Michael and he beats up Michael. He throws him around and steals his mask and just walks out and leaves him. And I'm just like, what? Like, uh, it, it's like they, like, in, like, The Last Jedi, they, they kind of, in my opinion, they kind of pissed all over the character of Luke Skywalker. You know, throwing the lightsaber away, drinking milk, sp spitting. It's just ma making Luke wanting to kill, um like, murder a young Jedi in his sleep, like, what, like, Luke, anyway, I'm not getting into that, but I, I felt like they ruined the character of Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi, and I feel like they kind of did that in here, they, they kind of made him an afterthought, they wanted this Corey character to be something more than he was, and he, um, yeah, he went and he, like, he beat up Michael, and just stole his mask and walked away, and I'm just like, that's ridiculous, and it, it just kind of really angered me, um, so it, yeah, it's stuff like this that just I I can't I I can't rank this very high, um, even though it's it's you know these kills from this trilogy are my favorite probably of the whole franchise. I love the kills. I just love the violence and the the brutality of them. But um, yeah. All right. That that's 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 enough. That's my thoughts on Halloween ends and this whole new trilogy. Um. Strong start, I felt, but uh, lots of missed opportunities, mostly due to to the writing and this lack of cohesion. Had to had to build a proper trilogy, I guess. All right, that 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 that's what I have to say. So, all right, everyone, that's um, <laughs> that's it. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this little Halloween ranking. So, like I said, stay tuned for numbers two and number one on the ranking, and uh, yeah, until next time. All right, see ya.